you, sir. Thank you, Australian Doctor Sai Ramanam, for uh, inviting us to this uh, evening. It's nice that uh, yeah. it's nice uh, that we could meet uh, Madam here um, and learn about uh, yoga and uh, dance and meditation. It's, uh, so much now talked about. Uh, Yoga is this meeting now, so let me maintain the continuity. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> we go back to Swami Vivekananda, who gives very crisp and sharp definitions of everything. So what is yoga? If you ask Swami Vivekananda, he says, perfection in action is yoga. That's all, very simple. So anything you do, if you do it 100% to its perfection, then that is yoga. Whether it is asana or meditation or bhadanatyam or seva deha, whatever it is, the, if it is done with 100% perfection, then uh, we are doing yoga. <coughs> so let me talk about uh, some of the actions what uh, we have done at Seva Leya. It's our experience in the last 35 years. Let me give some uh, uh, impacts on what has happened uh, due to the organization. There's one girl called uh, Narmada. Uh, she was born into a family which is uh, village vegetable vendors. So the parents have to get up uh, very early in the morning, go to Coimbedo, fetch the vegetables, come back to the village. From there, originally actually the uh, no, vegetables went from here to Coimbedo. So I don't understand the system of you know, vegetables being sold in uh, uh, wholesale and uh, you know, the diggers pick it up, go to Coimbedo, and then the small uh, vendors from the same village they have to go back to Coimbedo and then bring the same vegetable back to the same village and then sell it here for a profit. So they have to get up uh, maybe at uh, 3 in the morning or something and then uh, go to Coimbedo. No, whatever they could buy with the money they have, they buy the vegetables, uh, they put it in the basket and go around in the village trying to sell the village and uh, make their living. So this is uh, the economic status of this uh, girl. Uh, she says that there was no electricity also when she was uh, in the school. At home there was no electricity, they could not afford that. And they came to know of uh, Sevalaya's uh, free school for such uh, poor people. And their parents approached her uh, and then got her admitted uh, in our school. The girl studied in our school. Fortunately, people like uh, Dr. Sai Ramanan, a lot of uh, doctors, they were visiting. And uh, we run our own uh, small hospital within our campus, I'm sure you've seen it when you came there. It's a free hospital for the around 40 villages, 40 villages. They come uh, regularly, around 100 uh, uh, patients are there every day. They come, they get uh, free consultation, they get uh, free medi uh, medicines, uh, they get uh, uh, free tests, uh, all the sugar tests and you know, the, all the urine and other tests and all that we have a lab. So everything is uh, done free for them. Uh, so she has seen uh, you know, that this is very, very, very useful because you know she had her own uh, uh, relatives in the village, you know, who were having uh, you no know, problems in uh, you know, approaching the big hospitals, you know, going and getting admitted there. Uh, the kind of money they have to spend where they don't have any money even for you know, two square meals a day. Uh, it's very costly to get uh, no proper uh, medical care. So the free uh, hospital run by Seva, they are really impressed her. And she made up her mind when she was studying in 9th standard. She decided that she will become a doctor. So she continued with that passion. She studied very well. She was uh, a very brilliant student. And uh, Sevalaya supported her you know, with her dream. And today she is Dr. Narmada working in Apollo hospitals. From the uh, beginning of uh, you know, the <coughs> daughter of a vegetable vendor, she has become a doctor now. One more lady, we run community colleges also, which is basically skill development centers. We are in 18 locations all over Tamil Nadu Pondicherry today. We are in the process of opening the 19th one. Next week I am going to the village, uh, no, Tillayadi, which is very close to Sirgadi, where we are going to start uh, another medical service, we are going to start there in Tillayadi. <coughs> uh, Gudalur is a place where we have uh, uh, another center, Sevalaya Center. Of course, the last two three days uh, it is in the news because you know, they are trying to catch a tiger, you know, which, is, uh, which is there on the streets in Gudalur. 
it's very close to the Mudumalai forest. A lot of hill uh, tribals are there. We went there to do medical service for the tribals. We run a free hospital there in Gurudwara also. And uh, we also run a community college. There's a girl who wanted to come and join our community college. We teach uh, uh, tailoring there. Uh, couple of months ago, I was there to distribute the certificates for the batch which completed and then you know, they were uh, getting passed out and you know, we were issuing the certificates. This girl's father, he came onto the stage after the function, he said, I want to talk to you. So I said, okay, so what do you want to say? Then he said, but you are not just given, uh, no, you are not just done the tailoring teaching for my daughter, you have actually brought back life into my daughter. This is what has happened. He told the story, we didn't know about it before. He said this, uh, uh, he had a, a very small uh, tailoring shop in, uh, in Godavur. So he wanted his daughter to join with him. No, he could not uh, offer the present to any school or anything. Uh, so of course, maybe she studied up to the 10th standard or something, but she could not study beyond that. Uh, and his life's ambition was to you know, see that his daughter is uh, settled in a proper married life. So whatever his uh, entire life's uh, saving, he spent all the money in the wedding. Marriage happened. Within six months, the girl came back. There was a lot of uh, problem in the in-laws' house. You know, the, the beating by in-laws, by husband, everything happened. She could not leave there. She came back. She was totally depressed. She was not uh, speaking to anybody. She was avoiding all her friends, avoiding all relatives, parents, nothing. She was just locked up in the room and then just, just uh, uh, sitting there. <coughs> So he, his father tried a lot of things and finally people told her, no, just give her some training and then maybe she will uh, uh, change her mind, she will start uh, earning, she will be on her own. So he tried to put her in some tailoring courses run by some other uh, commercial establishments uh, where the other ladies, they came to know her story and then they started ridiculing her. So she could not stand that, she again went back home. And later we found out that Sevalaya is running a free tailoring uh, cent uh, coaching center and then brought her and admitted in uh, our place. And in the course of six months, she learned very well. Uh, added to that, you know, we had our teachers, he said they were treating her like her own daughter and then giving her good counseling. And now my daughter is very happy. She wants to do fashion designing. She didn't want to do anything six months ago. Today, you know, she's talking that, no, I want to go to college, I want to do fashion designing. Let us improve our uh, tailoring uh, you know, shop. It's a very small shop. You no, know, let us make it a big shop. So all this, uh, you know, the uh, positive future plan has uh, come in because of the mindset uh, change in her. So he was uh, thanking me, you know, for what Sevalaya has done. That's what he was, you know, he was meant by saying that uh, we have given life to his daughter. <clears throat> of course, uh, Apart from children, we try to take care of uh, senior citizens also, destitute uh, old people. One evening, uh, we had one uh, middle-aged man uh, coming to Sevalaya with a lady which was uh, around 75-80 age. So these two came. He said, this uh, lady has been uh, working in my home as a, uh, as a cook. Now she has become very old. She doesn't have any relatives. Uh, I can't keep her in the job anymore. She can't be a cook in my house anymore because she's too old for that. I don't know what to do with her. I don't know where to send her. When I came to know that, you know, Sevara is running a free old age home for such people. So I thought I can come and leave, it, uh, leave her here. Then our staff members you know, spoke to the lady. She confirmed that whatever this person is saying is all true. So I don't have any place to go. So please give me a shelter, I will be here till my last date. Then we asked the person to fill up a form just to take the contact details and all that. Admitted this lady. <laughs> Within a couple of months, it came out that the person who came and admitted that lady was her own son. And knowing that you know, the, the old age of in charge has come to know of this, and he has also told me and she was really frightened to face me. You know, she thought that she has you know, told a lie and uh, you know, 
come and got admission. Now maybe we will throw her out. So this eight year old lady came and fell at my feet. I am much angered to her. And she said, please don't throw me out because you, know, you may think that I have told a lie. But what is truth is I am a cook. That is the truth. No, I am a mother is a false statement. I, am, I was never a mother in the, in the house. I was only a cook. So I have not told you any lie. Then we told her, you know, we are not going to throw out. We are not going to do that. But you know, we want to find out now why your son uh, did like this. So we sent out our staff members to go and find out on the address what he has given. It's all false address. He was not there at all. This lady lived for the next four years. Uh, you know, then uh, her uh, last day came and you know, we, we did the last rites. We are experts in doing last rites in Hindu culture, you know, Muslims or Christians. Different senior citizens are there. So based on whatever uh, their religion, we have performed all type of uh, last rites in, uh, in Sevalia. <coughs> so this is the some of the actions what we have performed. I think we are doing it uh, as a uh, perfect action where a uh, lot of underprivileged uh, children and uh, senior citizens they are all getting benefited. Sevalia is a 35 year old uh, organization. Uh, we are in uh, 18 locations in Tamil Nadu and uh, Pondicherry. We run schools, free schools, everything, whatever we do is all completely 100% free for the underprivileged. And we admit only underprivileged. You know, we don't have you know, partially free, partially you know, paying, all those systems we don't have. It's 100% free. And we take only people who, know, who need that free service, uh, schools, hospitals, a lot of uh, clinics, mobile medical units in five different districts, and uh, community colleges in 11 locations with various uh, different types of uh, uh, skills. Around 1,000 students every year they pass out, and then we make sure that they get a job and uh, you know, they stick onto their job. We also have Goshala, there are around 100 uh, dry cows up there, so we take care of uh, animals also. And um, we do organic farming, we teach organic farming to the villagers. Our farmers who have been doing organic farming 100 years ago, 200 years ago, now they have all been you know, buying uh, uh, the manure and uh, you know, the chemical uh, uh, pesticides and all that, and it's uh, spoiling our food. So we are training our uh, farmers to come out of that and then do organic farm which is going to be pure food. Um, these are the activities what we are doing in the last 35 years. I am very happy that you know, uh, Rotarians, uh, they visited uh, during the Warnham celebration. You know, we celebrated all functions. So during Warnham celebrations, these uh, club members were there in uh, Sevalia. I invite all of you again, once again. So you can come, you can, you can come and see our uh, Various locations, various activities, what we are doing. Of course, the place where you came, the Tirudindra uh, which is the closest uh, big center, uh, which has all the activities, whatever I described now, no, the entire flavor is there in uh, Tirudindra. Of course, we try to do, teach our children Padanatyam, yoga, meditation. Uh, we can't spend a lot of money on that. <laughs> we don't get sponsors. That is another issue. No, do you, your food or you know, to buy clothing and everything, we have sponsors. You tell you know, that I want a sponsor to, for Bharatanatyam class, the donors are not there. <laughs> That's a problem. They think you know, it's not required for the orphan children. Why do you try to do, you know, teach Bharatanatyam for them? But we have, as you said, uh, rightly pointed out, uh, some of the positive things of the uh, you know, COVID uh, epidemic is that uh, you know, we have gone online. And uh, we have got a lady from uh, UK, you know, she is teaching Bharatanatyam. Our children are learning, of course, they, they put the videos and then uh, looking at the video also they try to learn and then we have this uh, uh, dancer from UK, she is uh, taking uh, music and uh, all that time classes. We, are, we have uh, full-time yoga teachers uh, who, are, who are our PT masters, our, our PT classes are all yoga. So they stay there so that you know, morning 5 o'clock the yoga class uh, starts for all the children. Also we. Uh, we do yoga for the old age of people also. Now they can lie down on their bed and you know, still do some of the asanas. So we teach them also. So we will definitely need your services. So we will come to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Hello, sir. So, uh, <coughs> one thing is, uh, uh, I came there, I was, it was mind blowing that, blowing that uh, location. Like, great it was. So, like we want rotarians, our passion is like for, for the service of the uh, servicing the society. Okay. That's one side. Very much for the side of the
Okay, so we would always like to uh, uh, give service to the society. Okay, enable a lot of things. And uh, <coughs> we say, okay, being Rotarians together, if I can do alone, ten of us can do better. Okay, so when I see in terms of passion, uh, comparing uh, Mr. Murli Dharan, we may be ten times more than more passionate. Okay, in doing things for the society. But then you are thousand times better in terms of executing and making it success. So we would like to learn what is that. Obviously, it won't be. Uh, it is a big work. So how can you help us or guide us in telling us? Because we all uh, try to do our best level uh, doing. For example, Chakravarti sir, he must have touched thousands of people's life. He's on on uh, level. Babu is doing. Everyone is there. Uh, Subramanian sir. Everybody is doing. Everybody is passionate. But to make. Till your level, I think it's something you can give on some tips. How you are able to achieve this? Yes, you also say we are also doing a profession, so balancing. But you are also into big profession, so you are pro uh, doing a social service and profession. You are balancing it. So, what is the secret? Okay, the idea started when I was 11 years old. I read a poem from Mahakavi Bardia, so which set me thinking. And from that time onwards, single point focus. This is what I wanted to do. Okay. Professional law was secondary for me. I was working in a top uh, IT company, Tata Consultancy. I was I grew up, uh, you know, to some level of seniority in the organization. But I had decided that I will spend my time, spend my life for earning for myself only for 25 years. So that decision I had taken right in the beginning. Uh, so, 1988, we started the organization Sevalaya. I was still working in uh, TCS at that time. So, as you said, I had to do the balancing act between my corporate job and uh, the social work. Uh, but my mind was always uh, focused. focused on uh, the Sevalaya activity and whatever I was doing in TCS, whatever training I was going through, software, you know, project management, everything I was applying to Sevalaya. So that is why you see Sevalia is definitely a successful organization, it's running for 35 years and a lot of uh, you know, uh, professionalism has been brought into it because it is run like a software project. <clears throat> so I was trying to use all that from there to here and I have tra traveled almost to all the countries uh, on my software job. I made contacts everywhere and which I am still using for Sevalia. This girl, lady from uh, no, UK, why is she teaching in Sevalia today because, because of all those uh, contacts in the earlier years. So in 2009, I completed 25 years of my service in the uh, software industry. So as I had decided earlier, I, I quit the job. And because I had decided uh, you know, right from my school days, I had also saved enough money. You know, software, definitely we earn much more than uh, what other professions can give. So I did not spend the money, you know, whatever I earned, uh, totally on me. So I was... Uh, Allocating some money, you know, which uh, I will need because I am going to retire very early. So I made that plan, economic plan. So from 2009 onwards, I am jobless. But I, you know, we are able to pull on our life uh, without any difficulty because what are investments I have made? Fortunately, you no know, returns are coming from there. So I don't need a salary. I can allocate my time full time free for uh, you know, charitable activity. So from 2009 onwards. Uh, Sevalaya is the only thing I am doing without uh, earning anything from, from out of it. Yeah. So that decisions uh, I took you know, long back uh, uh, in my life. Fortunately, uh, I read some very good books. Swami Vivekananda, Mahakavi Bharadiyar and uh, Mahatma Gandhi. So that's, that's how it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. So you, you take a leap out of it and yeah, go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> In 2010 and 11, when uh, was the governor, I was a chairman for the commercial development. We collected 100 people with these two people here and there in the roads. We took the corporation of Chennai and we cleaned them and we mm -hmm. brought them and we handed over some of the people to you, Sevali also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we paid partly for that for the entire year. Like you were saying, we selected some seven or eight NGOs. Is the time you know you are doing a good job? I remember that uh, I think all the old people were begging on the streets 
got collected with them and then uh, four of them were allocated to Sevalia. So those four were there. One of them uh, was from North India. No, we could not understand what she was speaking, which language she was speaking. No, nobody could understand. Uh, so she, all those four were passed away now. So, now. They were all already, when they came, it was all, already they were around 70. We were talking about 10 years, 15 years ago. So they, they were crossed to 80, 85. Uh, so they were all digging in the streets and uh, they were brought and uh, left there. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and many Rotary clubs, they come and a uh, lot of projects, uh, you know, especially if they are a water plant, you know, the Rotary clubs, they did it and uh, sponsoring the children, you know, notebooks, books, uniforms, so various uh, projects from various different clubs, people come and uh, take part. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.